Hello YouTube. Today I'll be making a three-dimensional iPhone on a program called SketchUp. Let me apologize in advance for not owning screen recording software. Now you can get it here at SketchUp.com. It's 100% free and there is a pro version. Just click on the big blue button up towards the right. Now I've made this iPhone on this program before, but I'm sh doing this again to show you this a few of the steps and to improve on my previous design. So here's my old one. I'm just going to create a square and then input the dimensions for the iPhone. Now that it's made, I'm going to put it on the origin in quadrant one and add the depth. Use the depth tool and type in 0.30 and we're going to create the rounded look. Use the curves tool and select on the edges. Then use the depth tool to cut off the corners. Try your best to make all sides look the same. Okay, so I'm going to import a screenshot that I took of my phone and just place it right on there. I'm going to use the scale tool to scale it out just right and I'll cut to that. Now that I have that sorted out, I'm going to find the center of the phone so that I can put the headset and the buttons and the assorted sensors. Now I'm using a technique where I put two circles and then I create lines on top of them to connect them and then I erase the inner points to create this cylindrical thing. Then I'm just going to add some depth and just create as shown. just using the um, edge tool to create more detail. Now you're going to find the center of the device at the bottom and put a circle for the home button. Now my device looks like this. You don't have to make it look like that, but that's what I'm going to show you. So I create a square in the center and then I use the edge tool to bring it in. I'm going to color it in black using the paint bucket option just like that. So now I'm going to create this square, cut off those edges, and delete that line. Now we have a complete looking home button. What I'm going to do is erase those lines and give this a metallic look. Now to make the back of the phone, create a line from the top going down about 7 16ths of an inch and carry that line on horizontally onto the sides of the phone as well. Okay, to create the camera, just add a circle, scale it out, and also create the flash a little bit to the right, and use the same technique that we did on the front for the headset, just like that, to create the microphone for the back. time to take some real life measurement. Now it looks like a fourth of an inch. So in our program we're going to create a line going down from the second line there, a fourth of an inch. Now break out your square tool and keep in mind that this square you're making is going to be a fourth of an inch tall as well. Erase excess lines and add depth. Now on the other side of the phone, the SIM card slot is in the exact center of the phone. So create a line and add points to it, the circles, and use that exact same technique we've been talking about to create the SIM card slot. Don't forget to erase it, any extraneous lines. And now, 
for the hole over here. I'm going to create a large circle and then I'm going to select all sides of it and use the edge tool to scale it down to get a nice little circle there. Now that I've added some details to my phone, I forgot to add the volume up and the volume down buttons. So all you really want to do is just bring the circle tool over, pop one there, and bring another one down. Make sure they're equal in size and add some depth to it. We have to create the lock button, which I had also forgotten about. So use the same technique to create a lock. You can uh, use the drag tool and press control drag to pull one over on the same alignment. Just delete those excess lines and give it some depth. Now look at the camera detail as well as the front camera detail. There's my home button and the side. Now here's a uh, brief look over the whole device. I did do the bottom and I didn't show you how to do it. So have fun with that one and figure it out on your own. Well, that was a real fun video. I had a great time making the iPhone and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Just give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want some more, and I wish you the best of luck with making your iPhones.